Penalcar is a prominent person, a young girl in our lives. And our ancestors shared her life story with us, the descendants from that time. And that story came down from one parent to their child, and the story lives on within us. Altar is a young girl that lived 300 years ago. Our elders say that because of her, we are here today. She is our savior. She helped forge the treaty between the Dene and the Cree, and because of that, fur trade expanded into the north. So this is Manitoba history, this is Canadian history. So there was a celebration, there was a feast, there, everybody was invited. And they put a plaque about her out in the outskirts of Churchill. It didn't have a name on her, on that plaque. It was erected back in the 60s. Now the second plaque that was made had her name on there and is telling the story as it should be. We were doing presentation. I spoke in Denny. This place that I have hopes and dreams about Tainaltar. This square can be renamed to Tainaltar Square. Five years later, that's what they did. We gathered in the school gym because it was very cold outside. We had presentations, we did gift giving, we danced again. Denny Drum songs were sung in her honor. We feasted, we had red everywhere again, decoration is red. The whole place was filled. We all heard about Thine Altar as young people in our, in our communities, and same with me. I heard the stories of how she went out and promoted peace, and that's what it's about. The, over 300 years ago, she had made a peace treaty amongst the Dene people and the, the Cree people. And over 300 years, that promise has never been broken. We, we had flowers, red roses. We believe her body is in the Hudson Bay. mentioned that we should put roses in the water. We had a spare dish for her from all the food that we, we had. The Denny drum was going, we walked down. And we put the food over there, the tide was coming in. And then we, we put petals, we put roses. All, each one of us had a rose, and we put it in the bay. Shortly after, the rainbow appeared. It was so powerful, it was like, where did that come from? So it was like saying, thank you, I'm here, I'm with you. We are very honored, we're very happy. To bring her story come alive in the forefront, Churchill was made for the Dene people, for trade with the Dene. 
I would like to see a statue of her at the legislative grounds, honoring, symbolically, honoring all the indigenous women and naming that statue Tanawa because she is a young girl, a strong, determined, smart, and we need to see that as women, as girls, that we have women in our history that did so much for us.